Hi, this is Andrew for Geek News Central, and if you're looking at a dark screen right now, don't worry, because tonight's review is something that's just perfect for Halloween. Here it is. So, this is the Sound Reactive LED Mask from Outline Montreal. I backed this in a Kickstarter campaign. Three masks arrived in the post today, and so far I've been quite impressed with them, having a wee tinker. Um, I'll show you the different masks and what it's up, and then we'll have a look at the, if you like, the construction in more detail. Um, so, you've seen it flick through a few modes there. Uh, effectively, there's a little control unit you can't see just off to the side, and as I press it, it goes through different modes. So these ones are obviously ones that just kind of fills in, and they, they just do it at different speeds, different patterns. That's the full on, and that's the, the flashing one. So that's the this is the the sugar skull model, and just off to the side, I have this one is a kind of like a bird. Oh, well, this is in the uh, if you like the sound reactive mode. As you see, I, as I talk, it flashes. So you get the idea. So and as I just tap the unit, it flashes as well. So it has different modes too. That's it full on. It looks like a kind of scary owl. Oops. And uh, I have to say this next one's pretty good because uh, this one, unlike the others which were mostly white, this one has lots of colour in it. So I think this is their, called their wildcat model. You kind of see the, the cat effect. Pretty good, eh? So I'm, I'm well impressed. If you're interested just in terms of price there, I think they're 30 US dollars plus, plus delivery. So you can check out their website. It's, uh, it's outline-montreal, as in the, I was going to say the capital of Canada, but I know it's not actually the capital of Canada, but the Canadian company or Canadian city rather, so check them out. Okay, I'm going to turn the light on now so we can have a look at the construction in a bit more detail. There we go, oh, that's bright. So, the masks, masks here, it's a kind of foam, quite a thin foam backing here, it's a bit difficult to see because everything is black. You can just about see it there. So you've got the, the foam mask that has the, the light up LED kind of surface, it's, it's pretty thin and it's, it's fairly flexible, I mean it's I mean, I've put it on my head a couple of times, and it, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's, you know, it's, it's flexible enough, I and mean, it's not going to mould to your face, but on the other hand, it's not going to hurt either, because it's nice foam backing. You've got a, the headband here, it's kind of, uh, it's a velcroized elastic, I guess, in that, again, it's pretty hard to see, because it, everything is black, I don't know whether I can get the light to do it any better, but this is, uh, this is Velcro, and, uh, you know, you've got the Velcro over here, sticks on, keeps the keeps the whole thing on your head. You've then got the little control unit here and uh, as you can see there's kind of a like a ribbon cable that goes within the, uh, the headband to the LED unit so it's all in place so you just kind of see see it in a few places so there's no danger of catching and you've got the little control unit here. So on the unit you've really just got an on off switch here you've got a little LED which glows red when it's charging and then you've got the charging port itself, for which I've just got the cable. Here it is. So it's a USB connector on one end, and just plugs in there. Now the little LED would come on red if I was charging this with, uh, well actually, I've got, I think I've got a battery pack over here. Let's try this. Yep, there it is. So the LED comes on red. It goes off once it's, uh, it's fully charged. There's a wheel around this side. Apparently, this adjusts the sensitivity of the uh, the sensitivity of the response to to sound. So, if you want the flask, to, the the mask, to flash to quite low sound, or very, um, you can adjust it versus beat heavy sound. Haven't really tried that myself, but I, I get the idea. And then you've got a button here, and which toggles through the different effects. I think you can see it just there. Now. It's quite surprising when actually once you've actually got this all wrapped up in the Velcro, you wouldn't really think that you could press the button, but you can 
key here at clicking. So from that point of view, it's great. Now the only downside that I have noticed of this is that, and I don't know whether you'll be able to hear it, is that when you have it turned on and it doing starts, I th I'll just hold up to the mic. There's a very faint. Can you hear the, the little kind of whine? So I'm sure if you were in a noisy environment, you'd never notice that. But when it's actually on your head um, and it's quiet, you can kind of hear it going away. So just uh, just be aware of that. Other than that, I've been very, very impressed. Um, I'm not going to put it on my head, or at least I might take a selfie later on, but um, it, it's uh, I've got quite a big head. It stretches onto my head quite nicely, and there's plenty of adjustment in terms of, you know, this whole this whole side is kind of like the, the receiving Velcro, so even with for children, you can, you know, you can do it all the way over there. As I said, it's, uh, they're about $30, 30 US dollars um, on the website, uh, outline-montreal.com, I think it is. So if you are interested in a sort of fun Halloween mask, um, get yourself over there and see if you can get one in time. As I say, this was a Kickstarter campaign for me, so I think I ordered these way back in maybe April, May, sometime like that. It was certainly some time ago. I think they're on pre-order at the moment, so hopefully you can get one in time. Um, if not, you'll have to get one for next year. So just whilst we wrap up, so let's see if I can get So I'll leave them doing their thing. I think that's pretty effective. Okay, well look, this is Andrew for Geek News Sci. Let's try again. So this is Andrew for Geek News Central signing off with the sound reactive LED masks from Outline Montreal.